How's it going, folks? Um, I'm coming to you live right now from Boston, Massachusetts, from a hotel room right by where I went to school at Emerson College. And the reason that I'm back here is because, as some of you know, I do a lot of performances at college campuses. And for the first time, my alma mater, Emerson, has brought me back to perform at their orientation. So it's going to be a little weird. Um, you know, going back to the school where I had so many good times and coming back, not as a student, but as a performer. But I'm really excited for it. And I want to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about kind of what I did in college and how that relates to this project that I'm doing now that I haven't really talked about much, which is my web series, Watsky's Making an Album. And if you haven't seen it, the link to the series is below, and we've been putting them out. It's basically a narrative web series that We've been putting out every Monday for the past like seven weeks, and so we're on episode eight today. And I've been publicizing a little bit, but I haven't talked about it on my vlog channel because I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see it a little bit first. But now that it's almost wrapped up, I want to kind of explain why we did it, what it's all about, and how that relates to where I went to school. So I studied acting and screenwriting at Emerson, and when I was in high school, I was a theater kid, and you know, I played baseball, and I did all these other activities too, but every fall I would be in the fall play, and my senior year I got the opportunity to write the play, and I did this really corny, well, if people that were in it were watching it, they may agree with me, I don't know, in retrospect all your old work is really shitty and embarrassing, and you know, it was like full of cliches, the writing is not something that I would want buried with me, or you know, in my lifetime. If you were to watch it, you would laugh. It was called The Fuse, a chain reaction. And it was very serious. And I was really stoked to get to do it. And it gave me the confidence to think that, you know, maybe I could write full scripts and maybe someday I could be a playwright and I could be a screenwriter. And so I went to Emerson College, the school in Boston, and I studied acting and screenwriting there. And then when I graduated, I moved to Los Angeles, actually trying to make it as an actor and a screenwriter. And that was before my rap stuff really took off, and you know, I always hoped that my rap would take off, but I thought I was more likely to break in through acting and screenwriting. So I was doing these auditions, and I was working on spec scripts and stuff, and it's always something that I've wanted to do and have had it in the back of my mind is, you know, when I'm 45 years old and, you know, being a rapper doesn't make quite as much sense, then that's what I want to do with my life. And so I've been looking for opportunities to kind of flex those things that I actually learned in college. And so this company called Electus, who produces content, approached me with the idea of doing a web series because YouTube got all this money to inject into production companies to create premium content for their site. And so this, to me, was an amazing opportunity to get any script that I wanted basically produced. And, and the concept that we came up with was we didn't want to like completely veer away from my rap stuff. We wanted it to be about my regular life. But also, I'm not interested in being a reality TV personality. I'm not interested in being a host. Uh, you know, I consider myself a writer and a performer, and so I didn't want to do like something that was just like following me around with a camera, watching all the boring shit that I do on a daily basis. I wanted to actually write something and actually act in it. And so we settled on the idea of, in this fictional world, I get this record deal that turns out to be a shitty record deal. And there are all these cr content creators like me who basically are our exposure and the notoriety that we have through the internet is way, way ahead of the amount of money that we're actually making from it. And so we have this weird position where there are people out there who know who the fuck we between making lots of money and being, you know, paper to the ceiling and being a random dude off the street who just got an opportunity. So that's what the web series is about. It's nine episodes, and each one of them, we wish they would be longer, but, you know, when you're working on a modest budget, you got to kind of make sacrifices and do what makes sense for the amount of time that you have to shoot. So we shot it in about seven days. 
My very good friend Jackson Adams, who directs most of my music videos, was the director for the series. There were a bunch of great actors in it, uh, Hassan Minaj, Andy Milanakis. We have a guest cameo that I can't reveal next, reveal now, but you'll see next week. Um, Josh Weiner. Uh, it's been really great to do. And so we started releasing them, and I've been really psyched on the feedback. Uh, if you want to check it out, like I said, the link is below in the description. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm really excited to have gotten the opportunity to kind of get my first ever script produced, and I hope I can do it a lot in the future. And yeah, I'm excited to be back at Emerson. Um, if you are in the New Jersey or New York area, next weekend I'm performing at Rock the Bells. It's the last one. It's been great so far, um, but Holmdale, New Jersey, next Saturday, bright and early, I'll be rocking with the band, and then I won't be out with the band again for a few months, so this is our last kind of hurrah for a while. So anyway, the web series link is below. We've got one more week that it's going to be out, and if you enjoy it, please share it with your friends. Very proud of it. Shout out to Electus for making it happen, and to all of the wonderful cast and crew who have participated in Watsky's Making an Album. It's been an honor to do, and I'll see you guys later.